gear up and foiling. Jimmy Spittu on the wheel this week. He's taken over that driver position. I like where Denmark is. Australia in the middle of the line, well positioned. Germany and France could get trapped out here. But Rockwall Denmark lined up for the perfect start. It's all about the trigger pull. As we set ourselves up, Australia dive through. Watch for the line to turn white. And we go out of the middle of the line. It's Switzerland, but Canada, the fast charging Canadians with Phil Robertson steering's done well. And France has set up with the fastest line into Mark 1, but can they get round those other boats? Watch out, Canada. So here we go. Mark number one is approaching fast. Race number one at the Emirates Dubai Sail Grand Prix. And right now it is Canada on the inside, but France, they are going to go over the top of them, and the French will get the whole shot. Beautiful work. You could see how high they were flying the boat there. Jason Saunders pushing it to the limit. Fly the boat high, you're going to go faster, but you're on the edge of control. And they were so close with Australia, but they lead out around. Left hand turn, and we saw them drop down to 19 kilometers an hour. So suggesting there's a lot less wind at that bottom gate. Pretty debrief in there, and they're talking about it. It's a very different boat. A lot of world champion, but mainly slower boat world champion. So they're going to, you know, they're going to grow fast. They've got basically, if you saw racing on the edge, they talk a lot about culture. They've got to create a winning culture. It's going to take a little bit of time, but yeah, there's plenty of talent on board that boat for things to be able to get to and pop up on the falls. Out the back, it's Australia. Well, they're already foiling, but where's Jimmy Spiddle going to send the boat? New Zealand. This is aggressive from the Kiwi crew. Bottom left of our screen there. They're going to be coming in really, really fast but they're not entitled to room in there. They're not allowed in there by the racing rules, so they're going to hope a gap opens up last minute. Five seconds, watch for the line to turn white, and we'll be racing. Oh, wow, there's no room for the Germans. A better protest here. It looks like they're over the line early anyway, but that could go bigger. That could be a black flag penalty. We'll find out. It was too much. Penalty USA, penalty for Germany. Penalty early start for Germany and Canada. Oh, well, at the last event, that was a black flag for Switzerland. Yep, I know there's exactly. been discussions one de, one in the fleet. De, one delayed starter, Spain. I know that's been a discussion on things, but anyway, let's get back to the race course. And out in front, it is Australia in the lead. This is the umpires. This is the umpires of Germany. You've been disqualified. Oh, oh Germany gets time, the black flag, a delayed black flag from Craig Mitchell, the chief umpire. I'm sorry to say, but for me, that's the right call. That was pretty reckless at the top of the line. You could see it coming for quite a long time. It wasn't really a, a surprise last minute dive in front. And that's Germany at position Spain. seven, eight, nine. And Spain have got the right of way here, Todd. They're entitled to room, but Great Britain are on the foils. And if you're on the foils, you've got a lot of maneuverability. They're going to be able to slingshot round the out side great move by Emirates Great Britain although for a seventh place yeah. that's not where they're used to finishing Spain fall off the foils they wallowing in eighth but they will be ahead of the United States so after that promising start they were second at mark one or third at mark one on board the US boat but there you go there's still there's work to be done it's not easy this F50 racing yeah Emirates GBR this is the if they have any shot of making the event final tomorrow. Remember, it's just the top three teams in the last race on Sunday, and Spain will just creep across the line in eighth place with the USA going back to ninth. They finished eighth, remember, in race number one. It feels like we, we go well in the pre-race. So two races it. down. I'm in using speed. He's on the foils. 12 seconds to go, but it's Great Britain at the bottom of the line. France at the top of the line controlling things at the moment. Here we go. They're going to wind it up. Switzerland perfectly positioned in the middle. Who's first on the foils? Great start out the top of the line by the French, and they are foiling. They'll be fast from there into Mark 1, that's for sure. The French are in good shape, Switzerland in good shape, and I think it's going to either be France, Switzerland, or Great Britain leading at Mark 1. Here the French go. Coming up to mark number one of the third and final race of the day. You've got Switzerland and France neck and neck. On the inside, you've got Emirates GBR and Spain making their presence felt. Canada nowhere near them. That's always a good sign with the Americans and the Canadians out the back. And Jimmy Spittle on board Australia. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, they pushed it too hard. They were trying to fly the boat higher and go fast to get across that Swiss boat, but they pushed it too hard. Massive error on board the French boat there, pushing too hard. Advantage Switzerland. And they turn away and from here this is a huge opportunity for this young Swiss crew they need a result and they've got no excuse but to deliver a win from this leader a great spot that Emily there we see the 
manoeuvre on the boundary here for the Spanish. Good manoeuvre by the Australians. Great Britain first to turn away. They're in clear with driver for Switzerland. Switzerland currently sitting in ninth place overall in the season standings. This would be huge for them and their confidence as they try to push themselves into their first event final. And it is great. Chip Sunday. They'll go down to the bottom of the course, back up, then back down, and then the right hand turn to the finish. Yeah, and it's getting light out here. Todd, look, top left hand side of our screen. Switzerland have turned around the mark in second, but they've fallen off the foils. And that's a 150, 200 meter loss to the Spanish just by falling off the foils there. As we see, we're already 10 minutes in, and it starts getting confusing. If you don't, if you look struggling to make that 15 minute uh, time limit, you can see all the fans on there. They're literally finishing 20, 30 meters off the beach from the fans on the shoreline there. And we don't want to be finishing a race at further up the course right. or, or away from those those fans. So I think absolutely the right call by, by Ian Murray and Mel Roberts, the race management crew. Good decision. So uh, all that technology is clearly working pretty well. Or they were just listening on a report from Lisa Darmanard who said the race course <laughs> well, is getting a little puffy and tricky. So there you go. Yeah. Give credit where credit's due. Exactly. <laughs> if they're sensible, they'll have Melissa turned up and be getting the feedback straight from her. As we see the Spanish crew, Nicole there at the front looks a bit tired. She had a big race on the handles there. Florian, Trittil, the wing trimmer.